Welcome to the Magnolia Minute Spotlight Edition. I'm Corey Poole and today I have with me Donna Edwards, First Lady of Louisiana. How you doing? I'm wonderful. Glad to be here. Yes. So what brings you to Natchitoches? Well, I'm here in support of the, uh, the CASA event they're having here tonight and excited to be here to support their efforts. Um, you know, CASA is um, just a wonderful program across our state uh, and they do amazing things with our children and the fact that they're volunteers, you know, supporting our children um, in such circumstances that are, you know, very difficult. Um, as someone who's working um, to help elevate the conversation of foster children in our state, I started Louisiana Fosters. Um, la.gov we can go and it's a place of networking where people everybody can be involved in the foster care program um, not everybody can be a foster care parent mm -hmm. um, because we're not all at that place in our life maybe or, or whatever the circumstances may be but we all can support in some way um, and CASA does a great job yes. um, with that and so you know by starting this um, foundation and this website it really gives people an opportunity to support uh, our foster children, which are our children, Louisiana's children, our children. And so it says, you know, whether you can possibly consider giving of your resources, maybe you can give of your time. Um, but one of the things I, I really want to mention today, in addition to, to the, um, the great things that CASA is doing, um, in the foster care program, at any given time, we have over 4,000 children in foster care. Wow. Um, and we have over 4,000 churches in our state. And so um, I don't think it's a, a coincidence that those numbers are similar. And I, I really believe that if, if every church would decide to recruit within their church a family, and that family go through the process of learning um, about the foster care, getting certified, and all that it entails to become a foster care uh, parent, and then they uh, uh, you know, to, you know, foster a child or siblings and, and foster them, then the church wraps themselves around that family and that child. We could do some amazing work in the state and really um, just change the whole direction of this child's life, of a community, of our, of our, of our whole state. And so it just shows that um, you know, if everybody would come together in, in this effort. And so we started a, a little bitty mini campaign called One Church, One Child. Oh. to really say that if, if the churches would stand up and be involved, um, and CASA is doing that already. You know, they're, they're taking <clears throat> their, you know, the mentor and the advocate mm -hmm. for that child, and they're doing amazing work. And so to also encourage people who have the time or, or just have a, the heart um, to give themselves. Um, I don't think any of us have extra time on our hands. Oh, you know, no. we're all busy in some way. And, but we can find the time, you know, to give of ourselves um, when it comes to our children. And so um, that's why I'm here, to support Definitely. their efforts. Well, it takes a village or a church Absol family. Absolutely. <laughs> so is this your first visit to Natchitoches? It is not, actually. I've been here several times. And, um, you know, it's a, a little secret that I really, really love Natchitoches. It's, it's really one of my favorite places. Um, it's just a little hidden gem. It and, is. Um, I love Natchitoches. Love awesome. the people, love the community. I enjoy coming through town. It just always looks so clean and fresh. You have tulips planted and just beautiful. Yes, it's spring. We it gotta spring. have some tulips out. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate you coming and visiting and well, I appreciate you. you sitting down. It is an honor to be here and thank you all. Yes, definitely. And as always, thanks for watching.